instruments on stage. So welcome to the huge round of applause. Come on. Thank you. Now, I would also like to invite the stars of the evening. She's an Indian actress and a beauty queen of Bollywood industry. She made her debut in the year 2003 with Kayamat, City on the Trail. She has done back-to-back super duper hit movies including Kya Phule Ha, uh, She Taurit Lokhanwala, Chuk Chuk Ke, Singh Is King and many more. She has also won the title of Femina Miss India 2002. So it's time to welcome the beauty queen Neha Dhubia. Come on! Experts, 
be in an in-depth understanding of your business, celebrity events, and even in your budget. So it's time to make your event a joyous, memorable, and indeed an affordable event exceeding all your expectations as Iman events. When you talk about Iman events, it also executes in the form of entertainment. When we talk about entertainment that forms the crux of any event, and hence we make sure of perfectly achieving that particular aspect of your event, leaving behind a lasting impression on all your guests. We create beautiful spaces and provide exemplary services to deliver a flawless execution of your event. Regardless of the size and the scope, we treat your event like a business with the clear strategy goals. Define milestones and a comprehensive plan to ensure that your event is delivered on time and on budget. Laser sharp focus, unparalleled professionalism, and exceptional service means client can trust that the event is in capable hands. I'm sure the one thing that you know we all are very curious to know is all about winter affair. When you talk about winter affair, the most eagerly awaited event, showcasing. Fashion and luxury bridal wear is finally here, organized by Ema's events. Winter Affair. Winter Affair will be showcasing a range of stylish and beautiful bridal wear by the own designers. The Winter Affair promised to be a blank of all the essential that makes up your big day. Dreams, wishes, expectations of the bride, of a physical reality. She's right here, so you know, it's time to welcome her. As we all know, she's an Indian actress and a Bollywood beauty queen of the Bollywood industry. She made her debut in the year 2003 with Khayama City and the Trent. With the back to back successful movies, including Kya Kool Hai Hum, Shudari Lokanwala, Chip Chip Ke, Singers Gang. She also won the title of Femina Miss India 2002. So it's time to welcome the beautiful, gorgeous sensation, Neha Dumbia. Come on! Mr. Raji Banerjee, CEO, Ima's Events, on stage to please come forward and it is a gathering on the podium. Come on. Welcome the huge round of applause. Come on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And a very warm welcome to the winter affair. This is Rashi Banerjee, director of Emos Events. This event is very important for me, for my company, and all the people who are associated with us. I was working in some financial industries almost 20 years, and uh, event management was my passion from the very beginning. And uh, the thought of planning execution and finally organizing an event with so many variables was very very exciting so i decided to give it a try i planned and successfully managed almost four five destination weddings in india and it was a great feeling i finally switched and founded Ima's events around one and a half years back. We love wedding and want to take this beautiful event to a whole new level. Indian wedding are spectacular and we at Ima's events believe in making this event a memorable and grand one. It is our endeavor uh, to provide you with all your wedding requirements under one roof. We also want to give a platform to buzzing designers, professionals, and to showcase 
their skills. Our plan is to host similar weddings and this type of programs many more. So today I welcome everyone of our first branding and our wedding program, the Winter Apple. And I also congratulate Ms. Eha Dhupia, Ms. Zareen Khan, and Ms. Achana Kocher to grace this occasion. I may maybe uh, they are the best in this industry for their own field. And uh, they are the ultimate thing for the fashions. I always found Neha ma'am, Zareen ma'am, and Achana ma'am, they are like, uh, what do you call? That uh, great figure or whatever, the ultimate things. So as the Imos event, we are really thankful to all the people who are here and this celebrities. May I take this opportunity to extend a further word of welcome and gratitude to all the people. And I understand how difficult it is to set the time aside, push back to all the celebrities, such events in international fashion hotspots. Exceptional customer service, magical experience, and events with a personal touch define your events. So, I let's uh, just uh, complete my these things, and I'll, I'm not going to take much more time. I, I hope everybody is waiting to hear from all these people. So, it is now all over to see her. So, you can go ahead. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Very wonderful speech. Thank you so much. I also request Raju sir to please uh, wait back and I also invite Puram Vyas to please come forward. Uh, we want to heartily thank uh, Neha ma'am, Zari ma'am and Ashna ma'am. Thank you so much for gracing your presence. I request Puram Vyas to please come forward on the stage and felicitate our stars for tonight. I request Muna Mark to please felicitate Neha Dupia. Can we offer this moment, please? Also to felicitate Zareen Khan. Thank you so much for coming today. We also want to thank Arjuna Ram. Thank you so much for gracing your presence. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Muna Mark. Thank you, Rajiv, sir. Thank you. Please be seated. I'm sure, you know, after, you know, having, uh, you know, listening a lot about Ima's event, the Winter Affair, I'm sure we all are eagerly waiting to hear from the, you know, the most talented and the most creative uh, fashion designer, Arjuna Kosher. So now I request you to please say a few words.
which will definitely change the way we look at wedding. Um, the Winter Fair, I feel, is a great pa platform to explore uh, the latest trends in uh, bridal wear. And uh, coming from a fashion-oriented uh, industry myself, I feel uh, fashion is very important. Um, I feel uh, you know the whole team of the Mars event has done a great job uh, organizing this event. So I would like to congratulate Mr. Rajiv and the entire team of the Mars event. All the very best for the future. And thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your words. It's time to hear, you know, from the beauty queen of Bollywood industry, that's uh, Neha Dhutia. So what about the huge round of applause? Come on. You really look pretty today. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's just uh, always an honor to be in a city like Pune. It's just, uh, you know, it feels like home away from home. Um, and, and what's wonderful is that every time we have uh, anything um, that's, that's of uh, a lot of substance or even less when I come and promote some of my movies, I'm saying less because sometimes I don't do well, uh, I always see the press turn out in large numbers. So thank you very much for that. We would be nothing without you. It's just wonderful to be sharing stage with Arshna Zari, uh, Mr. Rajiv, and our uh, lovely host, Sia. You know, we all know that we're here because of uh, MR events, and uh, we wouldn't be uh, here tonight gathering together on such a lovely evening without them. So thank you and congratulations to all of you guys. I think you guys are doing a fabulous job. Uh, as far as the winter affairs concerned, when it comes to weddings and and putting things together for the wedding. I think the hardest thing uh, to find, as far as a woman is concerned, in our country, you can end up finding a husband, but you'll never find the right hanger. So uh, I think the, the Winter Affair uh, stands, or for me, it's worth its weight in gold, literally, right before a wedding, because you know you just want, have, want to be in a place where you're like, okay, boom, I've, I've managed to do everything uh, that there is all under one roof and get the stress out of the way. Um, I may sound like I'm coming from a lot of experience, I've never been married before, and I haven't been married yet, but I know that if and when I do, I'll probably come back to Winter Affair and make sure that uh, I, 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 I dawn something from there. So congratulations to everyone at MRM events. It's a big endorsement. I think I can speak on Zareen's behalf as well. Do you agree, Zareen? You would come to a place like this? Yeah. She's nodding her head more vigorously than me, so clearly she has. She's going to get married before I do. <laughs> but having said that, it's wonderful to be here. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, the night is young. I'm sure Sia has a lot of instructions to give us. I'm going to hand over the mic to her. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Neha, for your words. Thank you so much. Here comes the most uh, awaited moment of the evening. It's time to make the big announcement. So I request Ajana Kulchir to please come forward and make the big announcement to the media. Come on. The big announcement is that we're looking forward to everyone's support on the 13th of November. Looking forward to your presence at our event, the Winter Fair, and looking forward to you all coming forward and uh, seeing the collection that we've been working very hard on and putting together of personalized pieces, pieces that have been created like never before. Looking forward to all your support. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this wonderful news. So it's time to unveil the curtains. I request all four of you to please raise up and raise the curtain, please. There are curtains two sided, so I request uh, uh, Raji sir and Neha ma'am to please join this side, and Zareen ma'am and Ajna ma'am to please occupy the left side. Thank you. So it's time to begin with the countdown. It's time to unveil the curtain. Five, four.
Hi Chris, Mr. Rajiv Banerjee, to please be seated. Thank you. So I won't keep my media friends waiting any further with this. Now we start up with the Q&A in the media. Is there anyone from the media? One minute. Good evening. Uh, I have three questions for Neha and Zuri. Um, my first question is, every girl dreams of becoming a bride even when she's a child. What were your dreams when, were you, when you were young? And my second question is, uh, do you think you were fashionable in your growing up years? And my third question is, uh, whenever you come to Pune, what do you shop? Thank you. Okay, the first uh, question about being uh, the bride. Yes, I think every girl while growing up has this whole fascination towards becoming a bride one day. But I think our times have changed and uh, <laughs> becoming a bride has become the biggest fear. <laughs> but uh, we are at Imar's event today here promoting uh, marriage and I'm sure uh, all, of us, all, all of us girls still somewhere we got in their hearts want to be the perfect bride and I'm sure Iman events will have held them be that on their especially. Second I was uh, passionate during my growing years. Yes, I think I was a very passionate kid and I still am very passionate and I think uh, I will always be. Sorry, I meant passionate. Passionable. Were you passionate? Well, no, no, no. As a kid, forget as a kid, I don't think I'm passionable even now. And <laughs> um, I think shopping for one thing from Pune uh, I am a big foodie and I love the German bakery that Pune has and I always, most of the times when I'm here I shop for a lot of things from Thank you. What was your first question? Uh, what were your dreams uh, in your childhood like of becoming a bride? What kind of bride did you want to be? Oh, okay. I actually um, I have, uh, I mean it's, it's great to be here at uh, MR events discussing weddings, but I've never actually had a dream of having a, a wedding or, uh, you know, uh, when am I going to get married? I've never had any of those kind of dreams. But yes, I always thought that if and when I do, I would definitely dress in white. And uh, so, so my, my entire thing would always be that whether I'm wearing a lehenga choli, it'll be white, or whether I'm wearing a belly gown. It will be. I wanted to be. A, I wanted it to be a white wedding, and, and you know, just like every little girl would dream. Um, to agree with Zareen, yeah. the older yeah. you get, um, and, and the more time you spend staying single, the the unfortunate part of that is that you start hearing really scary stories of your friends, and and they tell you the, the flip side of it as well. But having said that, I think, like my dad says. It's really not a big deal. You should try out marriage at least once. Some people hang in there in that once for 50 years, and some people quit in 50 days. But try it out at least once. It's the advice my father gives me. But uh, uh, was uh, I a fashionista when I was young? No, not at all. But I was always very uh, my my, con my I was very conscious about being very comfortable in the clothes I would wear. So even when I was younger and going to college, I would always like steal clothes from my brothers. Uh, wardrobe and like take out oversized track pants and shirts and loose clothes. We are, my thing was always comfort and I think I've always stuck to that even now when it, when it transcends into looking fashionable as well I would never want to be uncomfortable in what I'm wearing. So that's my motto and always keep that in mind. And uh, as far as shopping in Pune is concerned, I think the downside of coming to Pune by road is that you can take off the minute you're done with work so you never get time to like go in and shop. But isn't Pune exactly like Bombay? Like you, you pretty much get the same things, right? So I haven't really spent time, but I, I, I've had the biscuits that she was talking about, that and the chicky, and a lot of my friends get it. But on the way back, I'm going to stop at this one dhaba and eat food. So if that counts, that's pretty much what I do. Thank you. To you also, Ma. Whenever you were designing, what's your inspiration for bridal? Because uh, when we look at bridal wear, it's all Indian bridal wear. It's all spectacular, a lot of uh, embroidery, a lot of uh, embellishments, and a lot of heavy work. So, how do you um, design to make your work stand out from the others? 
every designer has their own handwriting. And what we do for the design to make our work stand out uh, is that we design to make the bride feel really special and stand out. So it's not only about our outfit standing out, but making that day more memorable for the bride. Um, in India, uh, most of us grow up with this dream of getting married someday. And all of us have this, uh, we all at least know the color we want to wear. Like I always used to say, well, I wanted to wear red when I got married. So a lot of us know the color. We have that dream in us. So I think um, it's a very beautiful um, day, it's a very beautiful memory for the girl and her entire family. And when she dresses right, the entire memory um, becomes more enhanced. And it's not only about the day, the wedding gets over in three hours, but those memories last for a lifetime. Um, so we make those memories more memorable by um, making, making the entire outfit customized. So we understand what are the bride's dreams and we convert them into what she would like to uh, look like, uh, enhancing it, giving it all the uh, fashion uh, requirements of today. And we do try and make our lehengas not very heavy. We try and make it light so that the girl can enjoy her day. It should not be so heavy that she's totally weighed down and she gets a back pain after that. So that's what we do. What's going to be the trend this season for the bride? Colors, cigarettes, whatever. One of the trends uh, this season for a bridal wear is definitely the lehenga. Um, the colors uh, that are working very well this season is all the berry colors are doing really well. Uh, the purples, the berry colors. Um, it, there is a lot of people who are doing pastels and marcellas even now. So that is the colors. Besides that, there's a lot of fusion wear that is doing well. Um, we've all evolved. We've all become very global today. Um, so a lot of brides um, are wanting a lot of fusion wear. So they, uh, it's like a sari gown or like a sari lehenga. So there's a lot of fusion silhouettes that have come out now. Uh, an entire anarchy which is a skirt inside instead of a full petal lehenga. It's very interesting to make these uh, fusion uh, silhouettes and those are very trending a lot today. Hi, Alcha. Yeah, this is Nadeem. Hi. So, actually, what recently there is a very famous designer, American Indian designer. Her name is Tina Tandon, who designs for Brook Shields and uh, also Padmalakshmi. So she gave a very sensational uh, sto story. She said that uh, the Indian fashion industry is saturated and the newcomers in this industry, they don't respect the craft. So, and, and, and it quite created quite a sensation. So you being a very senior, mature designer in this sector, so how do you look at the industry and what is your take on innovation and uh, the new methodologies which you are trying to incorporate? Just your perspective on this. See, the wedding industry is very embroidery intensive. Uh, a wedding lehenga can't be made without embroidery. And embroidery is the craft of India. You cannot get, uh, if, you know, China can replicate and make 100 copies of something. But they can never make lehengas like us because they can never make one by individual piece. So if you're in the wedding industry, you can't go very far away from the art and craft of India. And you are working with different artisans at different times. So right now, uh, you know, the Banarsi weaves are in fashion and we're working with so many weavers closely. And sometimes the Rosy, uh, we're working with the Zorozi artists close, uh, closely. So I think, and also I think with the trend that is working today, and also with Mr. Modi and all his making India campaigns and everything, I think a lot of designers have become um, very sensitive to the Indian crafts and they are working closely with it. So it's on the contrary. I think the awareness has come about and uh, people are trying to revive the old arts of India and India is so rich in art and craft, that's amazing. Um, so I don't agree to that. Coming to your uh, show, so is this, uh, is this a kind of uh, having a pan India appeal or like you are focusing only on uh, Maharashtra state or Pune? Like if you can elaborate more on this. Uh, sorry? I need to say, the with, show. Regards, with regards to the show, upcoming show, so yes. you are you will be doing it in Pune? Yes, we're doing okay. the show in Pune. Okay. Yes. So, but is it is it only for Pune or does it have a kind of pan India appeal? Uh, the clothes definitely have a pan India appeal, and they in fact have a global appeal. Um, and uh, the show is definitely going to be in Pune. But uh, with the way the media is today, uh, things can be covered all over, so it's ne ne never restricted. One more thing I would like to ask. The press note uh, says that like uh, it, is, it is high time we paid attention to their taste. Okay, so if you look at wedding industry and the fashion industry uh, with reference to wedding, so it is like almost like all of, there is a big, huge rush and uh, people have already moved into this domain. So like I just want to understand like are you a bit late uh, into getting into this uh, domain? This domain? Uh, wedding wedding uh, related uh, stuff? 
So I have been making bridal lehengas for the last 20 years. I started um, my entire career by making wedding lehengas. Actually, I uh, the first thing I made was wedding lehengas, and after that, I went into print and other things. So what happened is when I started uh, making, and I became a designer, and I finished my designing and my management. I think I was a young girl, and I was very really enamored by marriages then. So as you grow older, your perspective of marriage changes. Actually, as the very rightly said. But at that time, you're very enamored by marriages and you think it's the most beautiful part of a girl's life. And I wanted to add uh, uh, more beautiful memories so you can look even prettier. And that's how I got into this whole uh, trade and I started doing beautiful wedding like us. So I think I've been there for a while and it's not about me entering now. We're talking about our event company uh, coming in, uh, Mr. Uh, Raji's event company. I think uh, that if you come up with an innovative concept, and if you do something that genuinely adds value to the lives of people who you're touching, even if they are your customers, I think there's enough space for you today and always. Um, and I think that's what he's trying to do through his event company. Like all the plans that he has when I sat and discussed with him, they're very, um, um, they're very innovative and they're very, um, if, if they're things that will uh, um, add a lot of value to the lives of the customers who, whose weddings he's going to enhance or whose events he's going to do. So if you have that kind of, um, passion for your work, there's always space for you. Uh, thank you everyone. Thank you Arshana ma'am. Thank you everyone. With this we come to an end of Q&A session and I request uh, Mr. Raji Banerjee once again to please come forward on stage. And I request all four of you to please come forward for the photo op and I request all the journalists to please come forward and capture the moment. Thank you. So, uh, before we wind up, I just want to give a special thanks to all the media. Thank you everyone for joining us. And इमार्स इवेंट जो है वो विंटर अफेयर ऑर्गेनाइज कर रहे हैं इमार्स इवेंट जो है वो एक न्यू अपकमिंग कंपनी है जो यंग है बहुत टैलेंटेड है इनोवेटिव है और बहुत पैशनेट है सो आई एम हियर टू सपोर्ट देम एंड विंटर अफेयर इज दिस पैशन शो दैट दे आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग विच इज़ गोन बी ऑल अबाउट ग्लैम ऑल अबाउट द डिफरेंट ट्रेंड्स इन वेडिंग अटायर एंड माई फ्रेंड अर्चना कोचर इज गोन बी डिजाइनिंग दोज आउटफिट सो आई एम हियर इन बोथ जैसे कि हम देख रहे हैं आपका ब्यूटीफुल अर्चना कुचर से ही है एंड आई थिंक शी डज अ ग्रेट जॉब इन यू नो मेकिंग दीज आउटफिट्स वेरेबल कंफर्टेबल एंड स्टिल लुकिंग एक्स्ट्रा 
वेल मैं अक्सर टू की शूटिंग के इन द मिडल ऑफ अक्सर टू की शूटिंग में हूँ और आई विल बी स्टार्टिंग विक्रम सर मूवी बाई दिन मैं दर्शकों को बस यही कहना चाहूँगी दैट थैंक यू फॉर ऑल योर लव एंड सपोर्ट आपने इतने कम टाइम में मुझे इतना ज़्यादा प्यार दिया है सपोर्ट दिया है प्लीज़ कीप कंटिन्यूइंग इट सो दैट आई कैन कंटिन्यू विद माई गुड थैंक यू क्या कहना चाहेंगी विंटर कलेक्शन के आई थिंक इट्स ग्रेट इट्स बिन इन एसोसिएशन विद एम आर इवेंट्स एंड इट्स बिन प्री फैंटास्टिक बिकॉज दे ऑर्गेनाइज इन समथिंग कॉल द वेडिंग ऑफ एयर और वो नवंबर में ये कर रहे हैं इन अ सिटी लाइक पूना व्हिच बिलीव्स इन इन डूइंग एवरीथिंग विद विद अ लॉट ऑफ ग्रैंड सो द वेडिंग ऑफ एयर इज द राइट You know, it's it's the right city that they're launching in, and I wish them all the luck. Just like you have been, it's outfit is so beautiful. So, what do you want to wear? Which designers? I love a lot of designers, but uh, you know, this outfit has been uh, designed by Pyle Singhal, who's a very very dear friend and uh, very talented designer. Have you seen last year? Have you seen a little bit earlier? Yeah, I saw that in marriage, you have a white color. When will you see it? You have to. व्हाइट कलर में मैं पहन लूंगी आप चिंता मत करिए व्हाइट कलर अपने शादी के दिन जब पहनूंगी तब आपको वैसे वक्त पता चल जाएगा आपको क्या व्हाट इज योर पर्सनल स्टाइल कंफर्ट इज माय पर्सनल स्टाइल स्टेटमेंट आई चूज टू बी कंफर्टेबल ओवर ओवर एनीथिंग एल्स लास्टली दर्शकों को क्या कहना चाहेंगे दर्शकों को अभी काफ़ी कुछ कह दिया मैंने बट येस प्लीज कम टू द वेडिंग ऑफ फेयर इट्स इन नवंबर ऑर्गेनाइज बाय एम आर इवेंट्स इन योर ब्यूटीफुल सिटी ऑफ पुणे सो कम योर मेक द मोस्ट ऑफ अभी अपकमिंग आपके थैंक यू वेरी मच हो गया विंटर अफेयर्स के साथ हम जुड़े हैं ये मार्स इवेंट का इवेंट है और ये जब आए उन्होंने हमारे हमारे को पूरे इवेंट का कंसेप्ट बताया तो मुझे बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग लगा और मैंने बहुत साल पहले पूना में एक शो किया था तो मैंने आई थिंक शो पूना में ऑलमोस्ट कोई शो नहीं किया है सो आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टू शो केस इन पुणे तो ये मेरे को एक अपॉर्चुनिटी दे रहा है पुणे में शो केस करने के लिए और जो कंसेप्ट है पूरे के पूरे शो का आई थिंक बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है इसमें हम कुछ बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग कलेक्शंस दिखाएंगे एक हम कलेक्शन दिखाएंगे जो ऑफ कोर्स वेडिंग्स की होएगी पर वेडिंग के लहंगे बहुत हटके हटके अलग अलग होएंगे और एक कलेक्शन हम कुछ इंडिया के आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट से रिलेटेड कलेक्शन दिखाएंगे जिसमें हम आर्टिसन्स के फोकस करेंगे तो जिस तरह विंटर में भी कुछ कलर जाते हैं कुछ अलग कलर जाते हैं इस टाइम कौन से कलर यूज़ होने वाले विंटर में इस साल अगर हम डाकर कलर्स की बात करें तो एक मार्सेला कलर है जो एक मरून का एक शेड है जो बहुत पॉपुलर है और बेरी के कलर्स जो होते हैं यू नो जो ब्लू बेरी बेरी के कलर्स नहीं होते पर्पल बेरी के कलर्स वैसे कलर्स बहुत पॉपुलर है लास्टली बॉलीवुड में किस एक्ट्रेस को आप गिफ्ट करना चाहेंगे आपका वेडिंग और किसे देखना चाहेंगे सबको ही देखना चाहूँगी अगर मेरा बस है तो सबको ही बना दो खास कोई ऐसे ऐसे कोई खास नहीं है वो जेन्यून एक्टर ड्रेस है मॉल क्योंकि हर एक्ट्रेस की अलग एक स्पेशलिटी होती है कैरी करने का तरीका होता है वो जेन्यून लव टू ड्रेस है मॉल मैंने हरभजन सिंह और गीता बस्त्रा की शादी के कपड़े बनाए थे और बहुत मज़ा आया था बनाने में क्योंकि जैसे उनका भी एक अलग ही हरभजन सिंह की अलग ही रिक्वायरमेंट्स थी हर हर एक स्टार की अलग ही रिक्वायरमेंट्स होती हैं तो काफ़ी मज़ा आता है उनके कपड़े बनाने में थैंक यू जी